I'm so excited for this movie. I can't wait. Okay. So, it horrifies me to say this and actually admit to it, but I, I'm vested in this franchise. Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to Pork Chops, Rice, and Peaches. I'm Noah. And I'm intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, so, so we just finished recording, and, uh, and then we said, hey, you know what we should do? So we're doing it. Yeah. We're talking about our most anticipated movies of 2024, uh, and we're talking about it in February. So some of these have come out. Well, several movies have already come out. But, have have uh, they? Okay. Yeah, this this year actually, based off of what's been announced, uh, there's some there's some. I would say interesting. No, uh, it there's a good slate of films coming out that uh, at least intrigue me. I am waiting for one. Yeah. There's one movie. Yeah. And since I know you can't talk about it, and I, I know mean, you, you can won't talk it. about it, you're going to sit there in painful silence while I dad brag. Hint, I, hint. I don't think it's coming out. Oh, I, that, know. I know the that, release well, date. The release date has never hasn't been. I know. I just checked. I yeah. just I just checked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the movie I'm looking forward to this year. <sighs> Uncomfortable pause. Uncomfortable pause. <laughs> okay. So what do you want to see this year? What's what's uh? Well, uh, Argyle just came out, and uh, I. Uh, haven't seen it yet, but uh, you know anything with Henry Cavill, okay, is something that I want to see. Uh, but speaking of Henry Cavill, uh, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is coming out, and, and th that's on our list for go watch it and immediately do a go watch a it and immediately watch and immediately talk about. Right, um, it's it doesn't it, not only is Henry Cavill in it, Alan Richson's in it, so Reacher is in it. Oh, as okay, well. yeah. So uh, that'll be fun to see. Right, see him outside of Reacher. I know he's got a. He's got a pretty pretty stacked resume as well. Okay. Um, but I haven't really seen him outside of Reacher and some some funny clips of other movies he's done. All right. Uh, that's that's one that I'm really excited. Apparently, it's supposed to have a, like a, a dark edge to it. Good. Dark like edge a, like is a, good. Like an Inglorious Bastards right. style film, like a British equivalent, I guess. I, I'm excited. I'm excited for that one. That one's gonna be fun. Um, for the memes, uh, Dune Part 2. Not because I want to watch Dune Part 2. If you've ever seen our video on Dune Part 1, it was our first bit of, uh, of actual controversy on this channel was was not liking so, Dune. <laughs> not, so so if, if I remember correctly, my response to Dune was um, the story of my car breaking down on the way to your mm -hmm. apartment to watch it. Was the which, most exciting part of that evening. Yes, and, and we took a beating in the comments section from Dune fans. If, if you wanna if you wanna entertain yourself, go go read the comments on that one. Yeah. yeah uh yeah. so Dune Part Two, let's let's stir up some more controversy. Let's get some more hate hate I, watches. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I feel obligated as much as I don't want to see Dune Part Two. I, I feel no, in, no interest in it as a movie. All right. the interest as a content creator. That's it where all is, my interest in it lies. How much hate discontent can we stir up with our reaction to that movie? Yep, and that comes out in a couple weeks. Oh! So, yeah. oh. Yeah. so let the beatings commence. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, uh, if you haven't told by now, if you can't tell by now, this is uh, quickly becoming a, uh, a, a list of... Things that are coming? Of uh, videos that are coming out of Pork well, Chops, Rice, and Peaches this year. Most okay. likely. Inside Out Part 2. Oh, the, okay. we got to. The, the movie that, that I sat down to watch thinking, oh yeah, how good could it be? And by the end, I was like, you know, three quarters of a box of Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how Inside Out Part 2 is, because it's one of Pixar's best, the original. Well, and, it, and it's, it's going to be a very difficult story to top yeah and and they're going to have to handle it with the same skill that they handled the incredibles part two which was fantastic i know you like that that's another yes. hot take apparently i don't know i like incredibles too apparently a lot of people were disappointed by it really yeah uh, i don't know maybe i'll we'll have to revisit that one i don't eventually. know how you could 
Um, Roadhouse is getting a remake with Jake Gyllenhaal, and I think uh, Conor McGregor's in it as well. But Oh, that should be some stellar acting. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <sighs> pass. Hard pass. <laughs> uh, another Ghostbusters sequel, this time Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I didn't watch the uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was made in response to the 2016, I think it was 2016 reboot, the all-female right. pass. I think that was made as a uh, as a response to it. It has Paul Rudd in it. Uh, it got good reviews. People genuinely liked it. I just think it kind of came and went. So we'll see how this one does. Uh, maybe not a must-watch. Soft, yeah. pass. Soft, pass. <laughs> Soft pass. Soft pass. Soft pass. <laughs> At least it's not a hard pass. Nah, you <laughs> might you might get me to watch it, but pr if we weren't doing this, yeah, it would come and go, and I wouldn't. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, well, I must watch now since we've you've watched the whole series now. Uh, this is a must watch. Godzilla X Kong: uh, yep. The New Empire. I am watching these trailers religiously. I'm so excited for this movie, and I know it's stupid. Pure, dumb CGI action, and I am here for it. Godzilla's pink now. Kong has a freaking <laughs> boxing glove. I'm here for it. He's good. There's another lizard that shoots ice instead of fire. There's another monkey with a whip. I'm so excited for this movie. I can't wait. Okay, so it horrifies me to say this and actually admit to it, but... <laughs> I, I'm vested in this franchise. Yes! <laughs> yes! I have to see this. And and on that thought, I'm flipping through the phone the other day, killing time on Instagram, and I see the giant rubber suit and the guy inside speed backing up like this and then flying through the air in what has to be a flying thrust kick the on the his tail kick. as he slides. <laughs> you, that's the drop kick. Right. The drop the kick. The drop kick. And that was the one you liked so much. And I saw it and I was like, okay, that's kind of funny, actually. <sighs> I, I see why you like it. So, yeah, we will be doing Godzilla X Kong. I'm really excited for yeah, that. All right. I know it's not going to be good in terms of, like, a story. It's not what I'm there for. Okay. Just there for, for pure dumb, dumb action. Gotcha. Uh... And other news, yes. Um, on a more serious front, uh, Fall Guy. Okay. The Fall Guy. Okay. Take it away, because I'll have a bit. All right. After you. This is this is based on the Lee Major series that I grew up with. Supposedly. Okay. Uh, is a yeah. Because because I loved that series. Yeah. Now, way 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 back in the seventies when I was a kid, I dreamed of growing up and becoming a stuntman. Yeah. I just, I loved it. I had no idea how to do it. And the only time I briefly considered actually doing it was when I got discharged from the Navy and I was in Long Beach. Yeah. And I said, I can go home to Chicago and go to college. Yeah. Or I can go north to LA and try and figure it out. And I played it safe. Mm hmm. I, I'm not hardwired to just go out and just go do something like that. Mm -hmm. So I went home and I went to college. And my life has been what my life has been, and it's been blessed beyond, be blessed beyond belief. I have no regrets, uh -huh. but always harbored that desire <laughs> to be the guy doing that two-story fall into the mad. Or the guy, actually, you know what I always wanted to do? Be lit on fire. That was the one that I always thought. Be the guy who gets lit on fire. That would mm -hmm. be so cool. I would love to do something like that. Anyway, I mean, you still can. So. Uh, yeah, probably could, but dude, just getting out of bed in the morning is tough sometimes. Um, <laughs> I was talking about being lit on fire. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> the Fall Guy TV series. <laughs> if, if you can make that happen so that we can do just our own little indie movie where I get lit on fire, I will do that. I will. Alright. Or, or be the body in the chalk outline. That's my bucket list. That's, That's your bucket list. Right? That yeah. that or, or on the table in the morgue. Although I really want the chocolate. Or both in the same episode. That'd be great. <laughs> How do you audition for Dead Guy? <laughs> what kind of still do you have to submit to be the dead guy on a television show? <laughs> Here's my headshot. Here's the rest of the body. I don't know. What do you do? Anyway. 
I digress. Oh. Yes. <laughs> fall Guy. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Fall Guy. This is just going to be uh, just a romp of stunts. It's it's um, made by David Leach, known for John Wick. Okay. He's the guy behind John Wick. Um, oh. We did... Uh, it's all over my Instagram feed because that's, their, that's uh, 87 North, okay. which is the studio behind John Wick, for those of you who don't know. Uh, is John Wick 4 out? Yes. Okay. Um, the... Uh, they're the action studio behind it, and David Leach being the guy behind John Wick. They, uh, they're, they're, they're making, they, they work with stuntmen all the time. So, right. I mean, they're making a movie about stuntman. A, a stuntman. Yeah. So, this one I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to just off that alone. But, uh, also because I'm going to Cali this year to compete in front of these guys. And that's really cool. Which is, I'm really yeah. excited. That's really cool. Um, just on a little side note. Uh, if you want to know more about that real quick, I'm yeah. going to shamelessly plug my Instagram um, because I post about that stuff. Okay. I'm going to be posting about that soon, too. His Instagram. But uh, Fall Guy, go um, ahead. Well, no, I'm really looking forward to Fall Guy and, and just on, on a little rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Little, right? Yep. Um, I loved John Wick. Yeah. I finally got to watch John Wick 2. Yeah. And, and I'm and I'm almost done with John Wick three. Okay. And so I so I, I see the start of John Wick two, and I thought, oh, typical sequel, thin 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 yep. plot, yep. lots of fighting and adventure. John Wick three, really, really, you know, I'm like, every single block of Manhattan has seventeen highly trained <laughs> top of the world assassins just waiting. For a text message, which allows them to go and just blow up the entire universe. I'll just wait till you see John Wick 4. <sighs> so when you told me that John Wick 2 and 3 weren't very good, I was like, oh, well, not okay. as good. Right, as you know. Action-wise, they're fantastic. Oh, well, yeah, action-wise and fighting. But, but so, so what do we have? We have John Wick. Um, guy loses his car and his dog, and that's enough motivation to send him on this, this, this mayhem. John Wick 2. He loses his house. Two hours of mayhem. John Wick 3. Yeah, we're just going to fight because that's what we do. I'm just taking these guys down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now I want to see John Wick 4 John because... John Wick 4 is more of 3. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like, right, I'm, I'm into it this far, you know. In for a penny, in for a pound. What else is on your list? Um, I'm really curious about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Um... You know, the original reboot series, you know, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, right. Dawn of the Planet, you know, all right. these, uh, they did feel like cash grabs, but the original series felt like cash grabs after the first Planet of the Apes movie. Right. They like, so, uh, I was surprised when, when the reboot with Andy Serkis actually had a story arc for these characters. The apes are human, are slowly gaining their consciousness, and they, they have personalities, and they right. have, you know, arcs to go through, which is fun and interesting and making all the same mistakes that humans make yeah you know. and the uh uh the you know I, I and, and the attention to detail of the lore of the original series because it's supposed to be the prequel to the original series gotcha. well, a soft prequel uh so they're continuing that series right now um you know three four hundred years after caesar who's the in the original movie he's right. their founder of right. the society and that's the character you follow in Andy Circus plays. So okay. this is I'm I'm curious to see what they do with this. Uh, you know this this uh, Planet of the Apes stuff. I don't know how much more you can get out of this other than just writing stories that you would write for a human and just putting an ape there instead. And spending a crap ton of money on CGI to make it yeah. happen. You know I'm 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 loyal to Roddy McDowell. And Charlton Heston <laughs> and the original movie, and I've never really wanted to see any of these. You might drag me to this. I've seen bits and pieces of some of these newer Planet of the Apes movies, and they really don't do much for me. Okay. Um, but I, I will admit that there's a there's a there's a horror of the mind that takes place for me, and this is one of the reasons why I don't handle movies like this particularly well. Mm -hmm. The animal kingdom is ruthless yeah it, it just is um it's yeah. it's eat or be <laughs> eaten so to give uh to to give human consciousness to a creature with the physical ability to rip your face off yeah. 
is kind of frightening. It's yeah. kind of horrific. And, oh, and, yeah. and I think that I think that just the concept of debt makes it hard for me to sit in the seat in the theater and consume the, that, that product. Okay. It really does. It's horror of the mind. Okay. And and you know <laughs> go back to go back to what what ruined me for swimming in the ocean, Jaws. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> On a completely different note. Deadpool 3 comes out later this year. All right, got to go see it. Looking forward to it. Deadpool 3. Gotta Hugh Jackman coming back to play Wolverine in right. the classic yellow and blue Wolverine suit. That'll be fun. Right. Kind of. The, the uh, trailer looked fun uh, that I saw. I think it was a Super Bowl trailer. Yes. It looked really fun. Yes. Um, and then here's one that you won't probably have any idea about. Uh, Borderlands. For all my gamers out there, is supposedly getting a, a live action on August... Ninth. This one's uh, hits a little close to home because uh, I am currently playing through the Borderlands video games with my wife, and uh, it's her first time. So Borderlands for the uninitiated, you. The uh, is a, you know the art style of Wind Waker, the cell shade. Mm -hmm. Imagine if that had uh, a bit more of a, a raunchy, dark edge, comedic post-apocalyptic feel to it so what goes on in my head while i play probably okay the uh it takes place on on an alien world called pandora there are magical girls called sirens with like psychic type powers right psychic type uh and and all the characters is a character named brick he just punches things his name's brick and okay. he's one of the best characters in the series okay okay and it's just stupid humor there's a there's a side quest it spoilers for you know 15 plus year old game uh the side quest is called shooty mcshoot face and there's a dude standing on a cliff and all he does is yell shoot me in the face shoot me in the face i'm gonna play this clip for you okay shoot me in the face and then your entire quest you talk to him you accept it like a zelda quest and then you just shoot him in the face in the face not so complex need it want it need it have to have it Face shot, boom, brains everywhere. Not the knee, not the arm, not the spine. Face, face, face. Now, bullets in the face. Water. Thank you. And then it's done. <laughs> and he just goes, thank you. <laughs> so we're getting a movie based off of this. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see if they can capture it. I doubt I doubt it. Video game movies that don't have a high standard for video game adaptations. You know, we're in that new stage where you know anime is getting live action adaptations and they're very hit or miss one piece hit uh avatar the last airbender is getting its live action looking like it might start to be a miss um sonic the hedgehog overall hits okay. uh you know mario decent hit uh but i'm not sure how we're gonna do with a borderlands film and the fact that I've heard nothing else about it doesn't give me high hopes for it, but I'm curious because I really enjoy the games. So we'll see how that turns out. Maybe I'll be going on a rant post August 9th, okay. <laughs> 2024. So we might uh, we might be doing more sitting in the theater this year than ever before. Than ever before, because this is uh, this is a, a long list. There's a Craven the Hunter movie coming out, which is another Marvel adjacent property that Sony's producing because he's technically a Spider-Man character. We got Aaron Taylor Johnson playing Craven the Hunter. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. It might be hilariously bad, which is what I'm personally rooting for. Okay, so I would love to rant about how bad something is. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun. Beetlejuice 2, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, is uh, coming out on September 6th. Yes. I've never seen Beetlejuice. Uh, this is probably blasphemy to say, but uh, yeah, I might have to go watch know. it. I might have to go watch it now. I've seen the, the, the gif of him waiting in line with the Q number. Beetlejuice was a decent movie. Okay. Um, I've seen it a couple of times. I remember when it came out. I remember the last time I looked at it, which was probably over a decade ago. I was watching Michael Keaton's performance, and I was thinking of of uh, of, of Joker from from Batman. I was, yeah, Jack Nicholson, and um, uh, I thought he's got the same 
he's got the same style of all in and just mm-hmm. right, but the direction wasn't quite as energetic and, and it wasn't it didn't have that zany feel. Okay. That wild abandon that that, that Joker had. So um, I always thought that Michael Keaton's performance was underrated. I thought that the movie should have done better. Okay. Um, Isn't it a Tim Burton movie? It is a Tim. Early, it is a, it, Tim It's an movie? early Tim okay. Burton movie, and uh, so I'm interested to see what they do with this. And uh, Wednesday is in it. Jenna. Ortega. Jenna Ortega. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, or it looks like it is from yeah. the picture I saw. So yeah, it could she, be good. Uh, that's why I just read. But uh, on the topic of Joker, um, Joker. Uh, it, it, followed by a bunch of French words I can't pronounce, is coming out in October. <laughs> the sequel, uh, where uh, uh, Pour la l- yeah, um, right. is Harley Quinn is in this one. Oh, his girlfriend, gotcha, is in this one. Oh, that could be creepy and uncomfortable. Uh, Lady Gaga is playing it, so probably. Joking, joking, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen her on screen. Does she have I don't know. chops? No, I have she... no idea. Okay. Uh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Venom 3 is coming out. Uh, I, I recently watched the first Venom. Uh, the play between Tom Hardy and Venom is, is kind of entertaining, but that's about all there is to these movies. Gotcha. Um, Venom has a dark edge, and Tom Hardy is trying to not let him... Venom's always joking about eating people, and Tom Hardy's like, "No, you can't do that." Right. There's some there's some entertainment there. Okay. Maybe just a popcorn flick. Uh, so apparently, Gladiator Two is coming out, and uh, I I I don't know. Next. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard pass. And uh, everything else is coming out is. Uh, are are I, we getting? Take it or leave it. Are we getting the uh, second Santa Claus movie? Violent Night? Violent Night. I think that's a 2025. Let's oh, see is that, that a 2025? Okay. Violent I'm Night a... 2. I hope it's not made yet. I want uh, I want to be on that one. <laughs> Although I uh, recently heard what the requirements to be on that stunt team are, and it is a lot. It's brutal. It is, a, it is brutal. Okay. Um, they're hinting at... Uh, okay, apparently the updates for that is that they're hinting Mrs. Claus and the elves. Oh, that could be so much could fun. be oh, wow. really fun. But yeah, no uh, no update on when it's coming out yet. Oh, so yeah. Warwick Davis taking someone out with a knife. That would be amazing, right? <laughs> <sighs> 2024, though, overall? Looks like it could be a good year for, for cinema. Looks like we've got a, a, a whole schedule... Of things to look of at, things to look at, of, of videos to make, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, maybe we'll be uh, sounds good covering timely topics for once. Uh, yeah, whatever catches our fancy. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful thing about this, we can do whatever we want. What are you looking most forward to in 2024? Any of them on our list, and uh, you know anything we should cover in 2024? Yes. Besides One Piece, we're getting to it. And we do take requests, and we've done requests yeah. when people have given them, so, you know. I think Godzilla, Kong, and Ministry of Ungentlemen and Warfare. Tops on your list. Are tops on my list. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.